Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a Creators Update highlight. So on Windows 10 Creators Update that is upon us basically. Uh, we have highlight of Microsoft Edge and a new feature that is basically um, letting you put aside tabs. At first when it came out I was a little skeptical saying well I don't see why this could be interesting but as I'm uh, often the type of guy that you know has opened many tabs while I'm surfing the web basically I started noticing that this could be useful in certain occasions depending on what you do sometimes you can basically set some tabs aside for later viewing so you do something else you decide you take a break I don't know so for example I might search for some stuff on the internet to uh, make videos and uh, basically at some point I get to uh, put aside tabs because I want to do something else and I can come back to them later so basically the set aside of tabs is really a brand new feature of Microsoft Edge Creators Update so basically if I I don't know let's let's open Neowin and let's say and I'm doing some stuff with uh, you know looking at articles on Neowin and then I um, I don't know I'll open another tab and this time I'll uh, check uh, maybe some uh, stuff on uh, Tech Radar and now um, you know as going on I'm thinking well okay um, I'm, I'm checking something else in uh, say Ars Technica and at some point I'm like okay I want to do something else but I don't want to lose the tabs that I have open and of course the the tabs will will keep their uh, their place so for example if I was reading an article here and uh, if I go here and I read another article basically um, what happens is that um, I will of course keep so let's say I want to have more information than that Samsung Galaxy S8 release and at some point I'm like okay I'm gonna set tabs aside so you go on the upper left of your browser and you set them aside and here we go back to the um, you know regular page where you know I just have my websites that I can go to or I can just you know say I want to read the news off of one of my websites here local websites so I'll you know check that out and I'll do whatever I want to do or if I just you know want to do something else and of course these are kept so if I shut down edge I can come back later on and have these tabs open for me so you know I'm uh, doing something else whatever I can shut down the computer and restart then I sometimes like okay I'm gonna go back to what I was doing of course you'll go back there and you'll go on the upper right upper left corner again but this time on the really uh, corner the most upper left corner possible where you see that you can actually check the tabs you set aside so you can of course uh, put back one tab at a time which will of course um, have only that tab come back or I can say restore tabs here and all three of them are actually back on my web browser and um, I think this is interesting because it really it really lets you do groups of tabs with maybe the same type of information that you want to go back and view later it could be useful in setting tabs aside but not having uh, you know sometimes you put like the tabs aside but you don't really want them in your favorites for example because you know that at some point they won't be needed anymore so it's more of a temporary um, kind of you know setting tabs aside and of course when you bring them back you see that your tabs are of course gone from the um, the uh, section where you set your tabs aside basically so there's there's probably some interesting use to this and setting up tabs and uh, I think the most part the most interesting would be if I uh, am working on a video and I need some information from different articles then I'll you know put these tabs aside and I'll come back to them later and I'll be able to of course uh, check that out and you know when it's over well you can bring them back and it's over you just close them up they're not there anymore and one last thing is if you did put tabs aside and you decide that you don't really need them anymore you can go here and each tab has its own little X there's also a X here to close the window or to just remove all of them at the same time uh, of course 
uh, to uh, change that information. So you can set up all sorts of tabs here. Uh, if you've seen articles during the day and you need, you'll, you'll need them later for maybe a meeting or something and you want to show that to people. Well, you set all the tabs that you've seen from different websites assigned for later viewing, for example. So it's pretty cool and it doesn't impact your favorites. So, you, you're, you know, if you put too much stuff in your favorites, you get lost at some point. There's too many uh, websites there. And uh, I think it could be a very useful feature, basically. So this is one of the highlights of the new feature where you can set tabs aside in Google, Google, yeah, in Microsoft Edge in the Creator's Update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.